everybody, Johnny Be Good here, located in West Virginia, somewhere around Beckley, West Virginia. We are traveling right now on Interstate 64 westerly bound, coming up to uh, the junction of 64 and 77 towards uh, Charleston. And we'll be headed down this direction here for a while, all the way to Charleston. Once again, today is July the 10th, 2014. Local time here is 7.55 p.m. Temperature is a beautiful, beautiful 76 degrees. still located we are still about 565 miles to Joliet Illinois but I'm gonna have to take a break my 30 minute break which is a mandatory DOT mandatory 30 minute break and I'm gonna spend my 30 minutes over there at the uh, Tamarack uh, Place so I could show you guys what that place is all about. I've only been in there one time and uh, didn't have a camera back then, so let's go do that. That blue sign right there on your right, on your right, on your right. Yeah, you missed it. You're gonna have to rewind it. So we're going to have to uh, visit this place, shoot some videos, that way I can share it with you guys, and hopefully the next time you guys travel through here, you can decide whether it's worth stopping or not. now welcome to Beckley West Virginia every time I say West Virginia gotta think of John Denver somehow John Denver put West Virginia on the map well, on the world map anyway or the name now whether that's still true or not to these generations I don't know if uh, if the young generation has picked up that song but I suspect that's a timeless ageless song that will live for a long, long, long time. Can't remember what exit it is, but I think it's somewhere exit uh, 48. We actually had to exit onto the service plaza because this is kind of considered the toll road here, West Virginia toll road.
we go. Exit 45. That's it, right here. One mile. Now, if you are a truck driver, just for the sake of conversation, you won the lottery big time. I mean, real big. Would you open up a truck stop or would you open up a trucking company? I. I would open up a truck stop. Can you imagine if you had a, if a truck stop was owned by a truck driver? I, man, I can't imagine what kind of truck stop I would make. I mean, I would that. Uh, I would have to make it really nice. Then I would have a couple of trucks of my own. Uh, when I get when I get tired and I get bored of truck stop duty, I'll go trucking for a while. And besides, if I had my own truck stop, I get my own fuel. Aha! Uh -huh. Right, right. I wonder if trucks are allowed up there. Well, let's go through here anyway. The place that we're headed for, I don't know if they're closed. It's 8 o'clock over here now. Oh dear. The place we're headed for is that weird building right there on the, on the right. Yeah, uh, no trucks, no trucks, no trucks. And this place is horrible to find a place to park. After hours. Oh. Looks like there was a spot there. Warner beat me to the punch. How about this one? Yeah, that looks good. Which we can go on the other side.
All right, we'll catch you later. Peace.